good stuff. A company that makes bad stuff. The creators of the low-quality chibi plushies and the Cyclops Foxy, to name a few. Their plushies specialize as claw machine prizes, arcade prizes, and often found mostly in bootleg stores, despite being actually licensed. Today we're looking at their brand new series, the Sister Location plushies. It's about time, right? I mean, when did Sister Location come out again? Just recently, it seems that many people's local Walmart's claw machines got a new wave of these plushies, including my own. It's just my luck that I bought these online right before that. So let's do a bit more research and find out what other kind of products this company makes. So Good Stuff isn't actually their own company. It's a division of a company called Basic Fun. You may not recognize this name, but they have quite a few recognizable products, such as Kinex, My Little Pony, and their brand new series, Poopies. Let's get this potty started. They also love to name things with an M at the end. Mashums, Fashums, Crackums, Blastums, and Stackums. Now that's creativity! They aren't exactly a very desirable company to buy merch from to begin with. They literally try to sell people crap! But I mean, at the very least they aren't trying to sell these FNAF plushies in big stores like Funko, because we all know they would fail miserably. Instead, they're just shoving them in claw machines for people to throw their spare change at. And what did we really expect? Claw machines always have the cheesiest junk in them anyway. But today, we're going to take a closer look at these goofy looking plushies. Now, one of the more interesting things about these plushies is how many different sizes there are. In this video alone, we're going to be looking at three. But I know of at least four or five different sizes of their Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. It's pretty insane. I guess it makes sense though, with the variety sizes of claw machines and the size of plushies they have to use. And I didn't actually mean to get different sized plushies, but that's what I get for ordering stuff without really looking at the listing. So to start us off, we'll be looking at the smallest plushies up to the largest ones. The first bad stuff plushie for today is... Funtime Foxy. The character who is definitely a guy, but might be a girl... somehow... I mean, Foxy's voice definitely sounds like a guy, right? It seems you couldn't make it to my show, so I brought the show to you! And Foxy is in Ladies' Night, but is also called a him? Thanks, Scott, for making my life so much easier. Maybe I'll just start doing what he is. So here's our Funtime Foxy plushie. Ouch. We thought it was pretty lame for Funko to print on colors. But that is Good Stuff's signature. If they can, they will. You may think her tummy is actually pink material since it's sewn on separately, but no. Nope. So this plushie was very obviously inspired, copied, by Funko's Funtime Foxy, even down to the wonky placed eyebrows. But no, I'm mistaken. This plushie can't possibly be copied. Good Stuff added Funko's nightmare teeth to their design. That makes it different. Wait. Despite that, I do think that the teeth are probably the best thing about this plushie. Funko always used this plasticky material to do their teeth, which I always thought was really dumb for a plushie. They're supposed to be soft. Plus, the teeth material didn't really blend with the rest of the plushie. This on the other hand looks pretty nice. It's not too plasticky, and it's still shiny. But then again, Good Stuff likes to use plastic eyes. Kind of ruins the whole soft point I had before. And the kind of plastic eyes Good Stuff uses are just horrendous. Look at how cheesy this looks! Ugh, okay, let's move on to our next plush. I'm done looking at this derp. Next up, Ennard! Oh, that's quite the face you have there, buddy. Although, it might actually be better than Funko's. I mean, just look at his body. It kind of seems like Good Stuff learned from Funko's horrible mistake and went in the right direction designing this. Yeah, the wires are printed on, which sucks, but they made his body normally, and it's actually really good! Okay, it's definitely cheaper than Funko's, but I'd easily choose this body over theirs. I'm not sure about the head, though. Oh wait, yeah I am. Good stuff made a better plushie than Funko? How? My gosh, I really wasn't expecting a turn of events quite like this. I mean, I'm not gonna say this plushie's head is good, because it's not. His eye is cheesy, he's missing his eyebrow, and that hat is the dumbest thing I have ever seen. But somehow it's still better than this. And hey, there's an eye back here. That's pretty cool. 
Too bad he doesn't have any on his body. That would have been really neat. Funko, why didn't you do this? In general, this is a good plushie. I'll gladly replace Funko's entered with this. Bye! Next plushie, Baby. Whoa, is her head the same shape as Breddy's? She's like Breddy's little sister! Wait for it. There we go. But look, they made her body normally. Funko, you could have done this better! Why didn't you? Aside from all the printed on color, this isn't that bad. You could probably sew Funko's baby head onto this and it would be better? Maybe? I'm just not a huge fan of this head. Funko's was at least cute. This one is just... derpy. They got her eye color correctly, but that's probably the only thing better. So if I had to choose Funko's baby or good stuffs, I still might choose Funko's. Just because she was at least cute. Her body is not as good as good stuff's though. It's really a tough choice. What do you guys think? And that was the last of our small plushies. Next we're gonna be looking at the single medium plushie I got. Fun time Freddy. Oh boy. My immediate reaction to this is cheap. This looks so dang cheap. You could see the stitching. There's strings popping out. The pink printed material looks terrible. And his face is just really uneven. He is at least a nice size though. This is about the same size as Sanchi's FNAF plushies. But of course, these do not compare quality wise at all. It's like comparing a $50 bill to a penny. No comparison. How does he compare to Funko's Freddy though? Well, it's kind of a difficult comparison. He has a much better speaker and actually has buttons. But then again, he has nightmare teeth. Why? It made sense with Foxy, but not Freddy. And also, he doesn't have Bon Bon, which I could probably do without, considering Funko's version. I honestly don't like Funko's Funtime Freddy, and I don't like this one either. I guess when it comes to picking which is better, it's up to you guys, because I have no clue. Be gone! Now the last two plushies are both large, but I don't really know when they came out because they aren't sister location characters. I just got them for this video because they're good stuff, bad stuff, and I've never seen them before, so yeah. First off, we have Mangle. She's literally like Funtime Foxy with the black mangle eye. And that's it. So exciting! Despite that, her eyes are pretty terrible. They're both looking in different directions! Maybe he's related to Nedbear? You know, the body alone is actually pretty good. Surprisingly, there's no printed on colors, very soft material, and an adorable little bow. It's weird that the head is so much worse. Tons of printed on color, and even the material is entirely different. That is so weird. And look how far apart her eyes are. It's pretty strange compared to most FNAF plushies with eyes very close together. He's not really gonna fit in with most collections. But to be honest, he's kind of cute. In his own brain dead way. Our last plushie for today though is definitely not cute. Hi. Oh my gosh. Those are the biggest eyes good stuff could have fit on this guy's face, aren't they? This is just nutty. Big eyes does not make things cuter. Just look at Aoni. He has big eyes, and he ain't cute. But you know what, it just goes back to that argument of which is better, Funko or Good Stuff. And the sad thing is, Funko used to not be comparable to Good Stuff at all. It was always Funko that was the best. If you tried to compare Good Stuff's Foxy to Funko's Foxy, there was no contest. What happened to you, Funko? I guess you could say they funked up, huh? Now comparing Funko's BB to Good Stuff's BB, it's obvious that Funko's head is better, by far. Adorable little smile, proportionate features, etc. This BB just has a really bootleg looking face. The little side smile is kinda cute and quirky, but everything else is... eh. I don't really understand the black outlines. They did this with Mangle too. On their cheeks and around their colors, they outlined it with black. But why? Is this a coloring book? I don't see why they would do this considering there aren't any black lines like this anywhere else. No, there are outlines on BB's shirt too. But not his hat? Make up your mind, good stuff! Anyway, there's not really anything good to say about this plushie other than his body shape. And we've been over that a million times. So you know what, BB? I hope you die.